Uh, right, I have two guests in the studio looking incredibly glamorous, a lot more glamorous than I do. Uh, they were wearing tiaras just a moment ago. Uh, good evening to Paula and Alice. How are you? We're good, Kane. Thank you. And uh, thank you very much for coming in, looking uh, with your tiaras on. Uh, I've just tried to put it in my hair, and uh, yeah, it, it hurts. It does, <laughs> it hurt. does it hurt. It really does. Torture. Now you two are taking part. You're from Fareham and Gosport, aren't you? And yeah. you will be uh, travelling further afield very, very soon for a challenge called Blood, Sweat, and Tiaras. And I've been trying to get my head around what that all means, and hopefully you can you can tell me more. Sure. So. It's a mix between, well, essentially, it's based upon our fundraising activities for My Endeavour, uh, which is for Miss Universe Great Britain. And on the journey towards that, it's we're fundraising for a charity called A Sisterhood, which is their mother charity. And I was encouraged to pick my own platform, which was it is Unseen, which is based upon um, eradicating modern slavery and human trafficking, in particular with the interest of eradicating the commercial sex trade, which is very prominent in the UK, which is an area which is kind of not really spoken about because it's kind of a mm. taboo subject. And so in order to do this, I wanted to create a challenge for myself, which puts me into a situation which I can then empathise with. It's much more enduring rather than a short-term challenge. Something to really push me out of my comfort zone. And then so, this is where Paula comes in. So she is my partner in crime in this endeavour and has pushed me to think of something very outside the box and to really push me in itself as she is adventure psychologist herself. And you really have pushed her to go outside the box, <laughs> I haven't know, you? I know, I know. I do really feel a little have. bit guilty. <laughs> and I'm sure she's going to really swear at me halfway through this huge journey. <laughs> <laughs> halfway through, I reckon, on the first leg, probably. It's well, a huge, huge challenge. Nearly 500 miles you're going from. You're starting in Ireland over to Hungary. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Then so we start at 0400 in Ireland as well, which, okay. is, which is also the tricky bit. Mm. So as long as we have a cup of tea before we leave. Maybe an espresso. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so four o'clock in the morning in Ireland, and then we'll be cycling for nearly three days. Then we're hopping across to Hungary the next day and cycling through Hungary and Slovakia. Why those countries, Yes, I, I thought ask? you might ask that. Quite a random mix, indeed. <laughs> Ireland is like the training ground, uh, so they speak English, and it's across <laughs> the water and fairly easy to get to logistically. Um, and, you know, Ireland's a lovely place. Um, it's also near Cardiff, where one of the charities is based, so we're going to slip through Cardiff as well. And then Hungary and Slovakia have been chosen because... Um, we are also supporting women who who are, you know, affected by the awful human, you know, slavery and sex trade industry and trafficking. So so there's a lot of that that goes al along, you know, around sort of Central Europe. So. Yeah, it links well. It raises awareness as well, very much so. Yes, yes. Uh, explain how you got involved with the two charities to begin with then. Was that through your... Now, we haven't even mentioned, you did briefly, that you are a, a Miss Universe contestant. Uh, yes, well, the first stage before that, Miss Universe Great Britain. So I'm in the final for that, which is this coming July, July 13th. Wow, very soon. Very exciting, yes. Yeah. So that that's the You've got a lot to pack in before then. I do, yes. I've got quite a challenge. So that's in, well, just under, just over two months' time now. So then that's the qualifying round, then who represents Great Britain at Miss Universe. Okay, so, so do, does this challenge then, you, the, your bicycle challenge, does that tie in with the Miss Universe contest? Will that give you a few extra points? Well, I'm, I'm hoping so. And I'm hoping it's going to kind of show my commitment towards a, a mission or towards a cause and just prove to them that I kind of follow through. Rather than just being all at words, actions speak much more than words. So this is kind of hoping to represent to them that I am committed for this role as the Miss Great Britain to then be put forward into Miss Universe. Do you have them? Um, how many people are you up against for that? So there are 30 girls in total. Wow. Yes. Oh. Well, around 30, yeah. The competition <laughs> must be quite intense then. It is, very. So a lot of training and a lot of preparation and this fundraising, I think a lot of it is going to be in the background leading up to it, for, for, for sure, in terms of who we are and who, what we represent and what, what causes we support. Now, uh, is it just going to be you on the bike, Alice, or are you getting on one as well, Paula? Oh, I'm 
I'm definitely oh, getting on as well. Oh, good, yeah, good, good. Yes, yes. I, I supply the blood and the sweat, and Alice is providing the tiaras, <laughs> you see. I thought one of you might be just driving alongside them in the car, cheering them on along the way. I'll be on tandem. The <laughs> uh, it is an incredible challenge. Uh, how's training been? I, I Please tell me you've done a bit of training. Oh, you're looking at me as if to say, oh, that's um, what we were meant to do. Training. Um, how much have you done, Alice? I mean, two, a couple of spin classes. A couple of spin <laughs> classes? I cycled to the doctors this morning, which took about five minutes. <laughs> That, my word. <laughs> yeah, not a huge amount. I haven't really stepped on a bike, well, sat on a bike for a long while. So definitely going to be a challenge in itself. It's all bottoms. Well, <laughs> I, at least it's making it more of a challenge exactly. for you then, I suppose. Uh, in the studio with us tonight on the Early Late Show, I am joined by Alice Miller from Fairham, who is a contestant in uh, Miss Universe Great Britain, and also a local adventurer, Paula Reed, who has just been making us incredibly jealous during the last song, telling us about all the countries that she has been to. And uh, this uh, challenge for you, uh, 460 miles, nearly 500 miles. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 500 because I think you're going to get lost along the way somewhere. Thanks, Kane. Yeah. <laughs> Such confidence yeah. in us. <laughs> it makes the challenge sound even more impressive than it already is. Uh, this is something that you're quite used to, Paula. Can, well, I wouldn't. Is that maybe making it sound a little bit too easy for you? <laughs> there are a few mountains actually in Slovakia, which I'm slightly not looking forward to. I, I'm on a sort of 50 country cycle ambitious ride, so I've done nine, and this will be my 10th, 11th, and 12th. Nice. Um, Hungary should be lovely. I'm aiming to follow the Danube quite a lot, so okay. obviously it should be fairly flat and beautiful, but Slovakia is quite mountainous. It's the Carpathian Mountains, so big ups and big downs. Uh, what is uh, what other countries on the bucket list then for you to to complete in the near future? My plan is to do all 50 in Europe, wow. which amazing. There's actually 50 in Europe. There's about yeah. 48 with one or two perhaps you know borderline with a European or Asian. But uh, I'm on the 50 good turns challenge, which is 50 countries, 50 good turns with 50 people. So this will be part of that blood, sweat, and tiaras. <laughs> uh, Alice, you said to me that this all started off with just a 10-minute chat with Paula, and a 10-minute chat has now resulted <laughs> on you going on a 460-mile bike ride across three different countries. Indeed. Not, it was... not your normal chat, is it? <laughs> no, not usually. It kind of escalated quite a lot. But um, that's just in Paula's nature, I think. Our connection came from my dad. So my dad knows Paula, and he kind of set us up to just have a chat about my new challenge in the Miss Universe Great Britain journey. And then it all went from there. And now here we are. I'm very persuasive. <laughs> you, uh, you sound like you are, yeah, and there's no backing out now. No. Come to, I've got the T-shirts and everything now. There's no going back. <laughs> uh, I just want to touch a little bit more on the charities that you are mm. doing this for. Uh, one of them called Unseen UK and another Sisterhood. Can you just tell me a little bit more about them, charities that I'm not aware of? Of course. Um, so Unseen is based in Bristol. They're now a government-recognised charity. They focus on modern slavery and human trafficking. So focusing particularly in the UK. So it's, it's actually quite terrifying that how much human trafficking and modern slavery still takes place in the UK. So they... The news is almost hidden on that as well, isn't very... it? Because um, there are often small articles in local newspapers, mm. but it's a, it's a very big problem. Very big, very big problem. And you'll be surprised how much is actually going on in your own city. So within mm. Southampton, it's enormous. And I kind of, by choosing this as my charity, I think I'm one of the unique kind of girls choosing this kind of charity as my chosen platform. And I'm kind of pushing people to go outside of their comfort zones in what they think about and the kind of charities that they talk about which is what is which is what I'm doing in terms of the charity in itself I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone but that's what I want to encourage people to do in terms of what they think about and what they read about they might not like reading about the whole modern slavery which is going on but it's important to read about it and know about what's going on just so that we can then help stop it. I think people also, they have a bit of a confused idea when you mention modern slavery Definitely. of what that actually could mean. Mm. Um, are you the person to come to then, Paula, when we are keen on uh, fundraising and thinking of mm. crazy ways to raise money and get involved? I think, you know, there's a lot of people doing amazing things in this day and age, but first of all, I love our brand. I love the fact we've come up with blood, sweat and tiaras. In fact, it's I my think it's a great name. Fiance's yeah. idea, Alex. Um, <laughs> so it's catchy. So I love it. And, the, and I like the combination of blood and sweat 
and then the tiara's bit. So there's a bit of light-heartedness to it, but of course the blood and the sweat is our own mm. sweat. Hopefully not blood. <laughs> <laughs> um, but obviously there's there's a nod to you know the pain and suffering that that mm. people go through as well. Um, who hopefully will be benefiting from our efforts. Uh, how do we all get involved as well if we would like to sponsor you for this? Of course, so I've set up a GoFundMe page, but if you you can access that through my personal website, which is alicemiller.com. Alice is spelled a little bit different, so it's A-L-L-Y-S, okay. miller.com. And then on the home page, you can scroll down, there's a link there to our um funding page uh, we'll make sure we get a link tweeted to that on twitter or on our twitter Amazing. at bbc radio so and please do follow it uh i want to ask how long this is going to take because if i was to try and attempt this challenge <laughs> i think i'd probably have to keep the next year free <laughs> how long are you hoping to do this so we set off on our journey on the 24th of may and it will finish by hopefully the 4th of june ah okay do you That's reckon you can, what about if you could finish before well, that would be amazing. More time for cake. More time for cake, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that would depend on not getting lost a single time. <laughs> Have you got a sat nav? I don't. Yes, but I don't always <laughs> listen to it. <laughs> Can any of you speak Slovakian or Hungarian as well? I, I hear they're very friendly and very welcoming, so um, if all else fails, we shall act things out. <laughs> a bit of sign language. But <laughs> uh, how many are, go are you going as a team or just a pair of you as well? Just the two of us. Just the two well. of you. Yes, I've got my other half. I've roped him into driving a van in Hungary, so he's got a support vehicle, oh, which is quite going. luxury, actually. That so is something you need, put though. Mm. Oh, make sure you may get him doing something. Yes, definitely. Yes. Navigating, obviously. Uh, lady, honestly, thank you so much for coming in. I think it's an amazing way to raise money and raise awareness of two charities that are probably not as much in the public eye as they should be. And best of luck as well in the Miss Universe Great Britain. Thank you very much. That is very, very <laughs> soon indeed. You'll have to let us know. Well, will you be up for coming back uh, in the studio when you arrive back in the country? Definitely, yes. Oh, fantastic. If we can sit down. <laughs> yeah, I have to stand up. We've got our bikes. The still. bikes will be stuck <laughs> to you, yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. That is Paula Reed from Gosport and Alison Miller from Fairham. Please follow us on Twitter at BBC Radio Solent. You can find all the details on how you can donate it is going to be one hell of a challenge best of luck to the pair of you thanks, thanks kane, kane.